Okay, this is the fourth video in the series, which is looking like it's turning into a five video series on approaching women. But in this video, I wanna talk specifically about qualification. Um, what is qualification and what does it mean? Well, first off, if you're really good at qualification, you're gonna be much better at conversation. Let's say you walk up, you start a conversation indirectly or directly, you banter, push pull a little bit, everything's flowing, and then she starts to show interest, she starts to lean in, she's curious. Well, this is where you wanna to start to qualify. Now, I don't like that term qualification much because it's a very abstract term. What the hell does it really mean to the average person? Like, what do you mean qualify? It's a technical analytical term. I like feeling based ideas. And in reality, you're kind of testing her. You're testing her just like she's testing you to see if she fits the criteria of the type of woman that you want to date. You're figuring out who she is at her core and you're not doing it as a technique to win her over. And that's the mistake everybody makes. They do it as a technique. They ask stupid questions. They don't give a fuck about to try to make her chase them. And in reality, that doesn't work. She can feel the difference in your subcommunication. I talk about this uh, all the time is you've got to be radically honest. You got to be real. You got to be authentic. You got to be tr true to yourself. And, uh, and this is why learning to test, not because you want to win her over, but because you really want to find out if this is the type of woman you want to date. If she's beautiful and sexy and you walk over to her and you're thinking already, how do I get her on a date? You've already screwed it up. The question really is, there's something about you, you're attractive. I wanna come over and meet you, admire you, get to know you, but I may change my mind a few seconds later. I don't owe you anything and you don't owe me anything. If you're rude to me, that's your right. I approached you. And if I decide I don't like you, that your, your qualifications don't match what I want in a woman, I can walk away too. I once had a phone call with a guy and he said to me, I wanna to learn to get good with women. I heard you were good at this. And I said, yeah. And, I, and as I talked to him, I got this weird vibe inside of myself that he, what he wanted was a little off, you know? That he wanted something that, that didn't quite fit up. And I said, let me ask you a question. You go out and you meet a really hot girl, maybe as hot or hotter than any girl you've ever met before. And she turns out to be a royal pain in the ass, a bitch. She's rude. You don't like her. You don't, she doesn't match your values. She's just a woman you really don't enjoy. What do you do? And he said, well, if I was really good, I would, uh, and he named a famous dating coach, like so-and-so, I would uh, seduce her, fuck her, and then dump her. And I said to him literally right there, because that, that violated my values, I said, then you're not my client, man. You need to go find somebody else, because that's not what I teach. I teach men to be confident and powerful and to, in a sense, own their power as a man, which means sometimes saying no, no to a beautiful woman. You see, the way life responds, your subconscious responds, the universe responds, whatever you want to call it, when you say no and you have no regret and you let it go completely and you're like, nope, that wasn't right, something as good or better shows up in its place, usually better. And that's because the universe rewards those who let go. That's a releasing principle. If you're really attached, you're gonna keep getting the same thing over and over again, and you're gonna struggle. And so what this is really about in qualification is learning to let go so you can let the right person in. If you're trying to get every hot girl, you're not gonna get the right hot girls. You're gonna get girls that are actually a pain in the ass. And that's what it comes down to. So in qualification, it comes down to figuring out what you want. What do you really want in a girl? That's great. Figure out the looks part. I really like this type of girl or that type of girl. Or, and, and that's great. But then let's go a, st a step deeper beyond the looks. Who is she? What does she value? What is, how does she treat herself? How does she treat other people? What about health? What about, uh, do, you, do you want her to be into the arts or musical instruments? Or do you want her to, like, I love women that can sing, man. It's so sexy. If a woman can sing well, it's super sexy. And honestly, if she sings poorly, it's a turnoff. Um, and, uh, and, but it's just a thing with me. I can feel it the moment I hear her. Even an average woman sing, I'm suddenly way more attracted to her if she's got a beautiful voice. I like women that are giving, that are giving, especially with children. When I see a woman being nurturing to a child, especially a child that's not hers, I, there's something about that that just really connects to where she really opens her heart. Or to older people. Uh, I like a woman that is, uh, 
that knows how to cook, you know, that is also uh, feminine, super, that loves being feminine. I don't love to cook a lot. I mean, I, I like to cook my steaks, that's about it. But if she really loves to experiment and cook and create, I, I, I dated a girl like that, I was, I was so appreciated it because it was fun to watch her because she was so happy in the kitchen. Um, I like a woman that's got my back, that is always gonna have my, that believes that she would never talk bad about a man behind his back because that would be insulting herself if that was her boyfriend or her husband. Like there's a sense that, that he's my hero and I'm always gonna have his back. Even if I'm mad at him, we'll go in private and we'll talk about it. We'll have it out if we have to, but we're not gonna do it in front of other people. I like a woman that's not gonna go to bed mad if I'm in a serious relationship with her, right? And I'm the same way with her. I wanna see her as my inspiration, man. And so that's why these things are super important to me. I'm not really into masculine women. I don't mind her being a tomboy, but a masculine, no. I have no interest. I'll hang out with a masculine woman. She's, they, there's a lot of fun to hang out with. They can be a bro, but I'm not interested in dating a masculine woman. I'm not looking for a woman to compete with me to be the masculine. I want to polarize with a woman. And if she has a lot of ability to be masculine, that's fine. Maybe she's the owning her own company. And I think that's awesome, totally respect that. But when we're together, I polarize into the masculine to say 80% of the time, and she polarizes into the feminine 80% of the time. That's sexy. And she surrenders her masculine to me, and I surrender my feminine to her, my, and let her be this feeling element for me that runs through me. So I know all these qualities that I like in a woman. As I start to talk to a woman, I start to figure out what I want, you know? What, what really matters, and I'll start with simple stuff. And I'll just pay attention, you know? Maybe I meet a girl that surfs and I'm out on the beach and let's say I'm in uh, and I'm, I'm planning to go at some, at some point out to some beaches either in Bali or Mexico and let's say I meet a woman on the, on the beach and I start chatting with her and I can see she's into fitness and I say and she's into surfing and I'm like ah oh, you're a surfer that's that's freaking awesome I want to learn to surf do you, do you really I mean is this something you're just starting out or is this something you really like to do and she'll be like oh I just started you know I don't really like it uh, I've been out here for two days and I think this is just not for me. And there would be that, that little bit of attitude. I probably would be like, eh. And there would be a reaction in me like, okay, I really want, I really love the data surfer, right? And this is just a story, right? I'm creating right now. But, and I'd be like, oh, and, and she'll feel that subcommunication on me, that sense of pulling away because I'm losing interest, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. We want to show that because A, that might get them to that, that'll get them to feel that you are not just chasing them because of their body and b it allows them to powerfully start to feel that you don't need them you don't need them to validate you to tell you you're awesome like you feel good as you are it doesn't mean you wouldn't enjoy it right but then let's say she says something else she says i'm really into singing i love to sing and i've been a musician for years and and my favorite thing is this is to uh is to sing these singer-songwriter songs with my guitar, I would immediately be like, oh, really? And she'll feel that on me. She'll feel that emotion light up. I'm like, tell me more. Oh, when are you singing again? Oh, I'm singing at the cafe tonight. Really? Which cafe? Tell me about it. And that genuine interest is gonna pull her in. Now, what a nice guy will do is he'll be like, oh, he doesn't really care about singing. He's like, oh, that's cool. You're a singer, huh? Oh, what cafe are you at? I'd love to go to that cafe and see. And she's gonna hear the bullshit a mile away. And that's what qualification does. So what I want you to do is I want you to figure out what you really value in a girl. You know, who she is as a woman. And I made that list earlier, a little bit of a list, but you know, what, how is she with other people? How do you want her to be? How is she with you? How do you want her to be? How is she with her family? Uh, a big one for me is how she is with her father. That's huge for me. Does she have a good relationship with her dad? Um, how is she with, uh, like, I don't want a girl that's into pot. I don't want a girl, and the don'ts are, are really important. I don't want her to smoke. I don't want her into pot. I don't want her into hardcore drugs. I like psychedelics, so psychedelics are okay. Mushrooms, things like that. But, you know, these are, the, these are all no's for me, right? Big time no's. If she's drinking every day, that's a big time no. An occasional drink here and there, a glass of wine. But if she's got to have a drink every night, every day, that's a, that's a real turn off for me. And I know that and she'll see it and feel it in my body because I know who I am and I'm not afraid to lose her. I don't care if she's a 10. I don't want actresses anymore. I've dated a few actresses. I have no more interest in actresses. Doesn't mean that some girl couldn't override that if she's got a lot of the other qualities I like, but that would be huge. So make this list, figure out, and also sexually. What do you want sexually? I like experimental women. I like playful women. I like women that like to explore in sex. 
that aren't just chasing orgasm. A lot of women just, and men just chase orgasm. I want to get off. I want to get off. I want a woman that says, you know what? I want to savor the sex with you. I want to play. I want to dance with you. I want to connect. I want a woman that wants to practice spiritual practices with sex with me, like connecting through the heart, through the stomach, through the body, feeling our whole bodies connect and go into unison, playing with prolonging orgasm. And if she is, you know, not a sexual being, again, she's not going to be for me, man, at least not long term. You know, so there's, I, I kind of have a list for girls I'll date and girl and a list for girls that I'll take serious. And the list for girls that I take serious is a very long list versus the date list. And I'm much pickier about that. And then there's my don't list, the girls I won't have. And I know and if you go through those lists and you read them every day for the next week and you start asking questions that kind of lead to that. Like I have a friend that's big into hiking, right? He's always out hiking two, three, four times a week up into the mountains. And that might be one of the first questions he asks. Do you like to hike? You know, uh, no, I, I'm not really an active person. Boy, that would be for an active person. That's like, I don't know, man. That's at least not a girl I'd get serious with, right? And uh, for me, the drugs, things like that is where I don't get serious. So let that in for a minute. Now, I want you to play with one more idea. When you're looking at a girl, we go into want, and this is a releasing principle. We want, 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 and that's where we'll make really dumb decisions. I want her to like me. I want her to connect with me. And so we'll walk up and we have these values, but we'll quickly forget the values and become a nice guy because we want her to like us. Oh yeah, you like that? I like that too. Oh, you, you really want to go to this restaurant? I'll take you to that restaurant. When you really hate the restaurant, you've been there, it's terrible. And um, you won't say, yeah, that restaurant's okay. I don't really want to go there. Let's go to this one instead. You know what? This restaurant is so good. Let me show it to you. And there's a different energy in that. Decisiveness, container, masculinity, and, um, and a leader. And you know what you want. She might say the same thing to you. She might be like, you know what? You say, I'm going to want to go to this restaurant. You should come with me tonight. And she'll be like, I hate that restaurant. you would be like, really? Why, why do you hate it? Tell me. And then I might start to explore with her. I'm like, no, I'm really interested in going there. Why do you hate it? What's so bad about it? Oh, really? That's interesting. And then she might tell you, oh, I found a roach in my food. Oh, shit. Maybe that'll change my mind. I'm like, I'm glad I'm not going there. We're going to find another place. I know this other place. It's great. And it creates this powerful conversation. Now, if you're really wanting her validation, you're really chasing her, it's not going to work well. You're going to say things and have Subcommunication doesn't work. So here's what I want you to do for practice this week. This week, I want you to write down the qualities you want. I want you to read through them every day. So when you're out talking, you know those qualities. I don't want you to push them on her, just kind of casually flow with them. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to walk around and when you see a beautiful woman and, you, and she's right there and you feel that part of you wanting to lean in saying, I wish I had her on a date. I wish I could get sex with her. I wish I could be with her. I want you to immediately let that go. Look away and look off in the distance and just let it go and just start to relax into the now again. Start to enjoy the moment and just completely let go of that woman you were looking at. Maybe you look at somebody else over here, a tree, some artwork, uh, the distance, the view, and you, you put your energy of enjoying that view in the now into the moment. And then when you get it back, when you feel like, yeah, everything feels good again, that want disappeared, that's the key, the want disappeared, then look back at this woman and see if the want starts to rise again. The moment that want starts to rise, turn away again, look away. And uh, keep breaking that want, break the want. You know, keep every time you look and you see it and it comes back, break, and then go find another woman, do it, do it with that woman. And do this for like 10 minutes a day and just keep practicing letting go. Now, if you're talking to a woman and you start to get into a conversation, it starts to flow and she's interested in you and you feel that want coming up to, to impress her, to win her over, just take a moment and do a rock step. Look away. Look away for a sec. Let go. Enjoy the distance and then come back to her and then enjoy her again from a place of non-wanting. You know, it doesn't mean you're not choosing an outcome. Like I, I'm choosing going on a date with this woman if we, if our values match, at least the dating values. It doesn't have to be the long-term relationship values. And then I'll connect with her. I'll be with her, be present with her and that. And then maybe a few minutes later, that want comes up again. And maybe I just kind of glance off for a sec, let it go. And then I come back again, rooted into my body, into the now, enjoying the moment. And just do that until you can start to get control of and let go of this one thing and stay in choice. I'm still deciding if I like this girl. The question your mind should be not, how do I win this girl over? But do I like her? Do I like this woman in front of me? 
you know she's sexy she's beautiful i'll admit that i'll say that over and over damn you're sexy but do i like you as a person and i want you to work to authentically validate that idea with every woman walk up undecided if you want to go on a date with them they're evaluating you they're testing you you're evaluating them you're testing them and you're figuring out who each other is that's the first few minutes of conversation to decide if that buys you the first few minutes just like marketing the first few minutes first few seconds buys you a few minutes the first few minutes buys you a few more minutes and then pretty soon that leads to a phone number and a date or an instant date and that's what you're working out this week so uh so get those qualities down practice this uh this breaking of the wanting over and over and over again and start to read through those qualities every day practice breaking the one thing every day until this becomes a natural part of who you are at first it's going to be clunky get messy get really messy don't don't worry about it don't be afraid to get rejected that's part of the learning process matter of fact you don't want everybody to like you or you're not very unique you know you're going to push away some women and pull other women in so the game is played in rejection get rejected in the beginning uh, find women that you just don't match with. Walk away from them, especially if they're hot. Walk away from a few hot girls. You know, it's like, yeah, I thought this enjoyed your company. Remember what I said earlier? You know, you don't owe her. She doesn't owe you anything when you walk up. So if she wants to be rude to you, let her be rude. Just walk away. And you don't owe her anything. You know, if she's really not matching your values, just excuse yourself and say, I'll see you later. Take care. Have a beautiful day. You know, I got to go. And just walk away. Do that a few times. Show yourself you can let go. Teach yourself you can drop the one thing. Matter of fact, if the one thing's getting really bad, Maybe you practice just walking away from girls you have one thing with for a little bit. Hey, what's how you doing? Oh, I'm feeling the one thing. I can't control it. You know what? I'm going to go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. And as you get that one thing under control, you're going to find more and more women are going to get attracted to you. And it's going to get easier and easier to do what they call qualifying a woman, which is really testing a woman to see if she matches your values and see if she's the type of woman you really want to date. It's figuring out who she is inside not the outside. You already know who she is on the outside. She's displaying an image. Who is she on the inside? That's what you want to know. That's what you're there to figure out. And that, and that should be an enjoyable, fun, playful process. A little bantering, a little teasing can be fitted in there too. And that tells you a lot about a person. So that's qualifying in a nutshell. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you're still having trouble with all this stuff and your body isn't connecting properly and it might be a being issue it might be your groundedness it might be your connectedness to your masculinity it might be your ability to open your heart it might be your ability to drop into your turn on uh it might be the understanding of proactive reactive and this is all who you're being before you even move a muscle and that's what my new book the art of fearless seduction is about definitely check it out there'll be a link in here somewhere click on the link get started check it out and supercharge all these techniques i'm giving you supercharge this by changing your being so that when you take action you fuel that being because in reality if your beingness is off and you go to do these techniques what's going to happen you're going to actually use techniques that should work but you're going to push them away because you're going to you're going to polarize them away the reverse side of the magnet what you want to do is use the law of polarity to polarize them in the other side of the magnet and as your beingness changes that's what happens that's why it seems like in the beginning you're pushing every woman away and then later they come in in such abundance you wonder where they were during all those lean years something napoleon hill said and it is so true Okay, with that said, hopefully you like this video. Make sure to smash the like button if you did. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to share because you know the more people we share with, the more we grow the channel, the bigger it gets, the more content we can bring you. Make sure to comment. I definitely wanna hear your comments about how you're doing in this series. And I got one more video to bring you. This is gonna be video five, so I lied. I said it was gonna be a four part series. Now it's a five part series, okay? Um, I'll talk to you later. Have a beautiful day. And remember, only the confident really live. Take care.